Hey guys, this is the TuneIn, and this is part 68 of my Fallout New Vegas Let's Play. So before we start, I just want to note I have quite a few mods back up and running. You can see I have Foot back, because Veronica has her armor back. I have a, well you can't see it because I don't have a weapon, but I have Project Nevada installed. I have Immersive HUD installed, which I'm very happy about because I really missed that. Uh, and uh, what else I got? A monster mod back. Uh, Basically all the big ones uh, I have back in. Oh, yeah, I have the, I have the Imaginator, too. Actually, let me see if I, that's active, because I want to change that. Uh, signature weapon, too. Okay, let me... Uh, oh, I can't do that yet, but... Uh, the Imaginator should be in. And I think mod co uh, the mod configuration menu is in. Yeah, so maybe do Imaginator through there. Hmm. I honestly don't... to get rid of the grenade indicator. Sorry, uh, I thought I already did that. Uh, huh. Well, anyways, uh, thought I had imagining around, but doesn't seem to be working, so, you know, no big deal. Uh, we'll go up to the suite, and Benny will, you know, betray us. Huge surprise there, right? And again, because Willow has a gun, or, yep, she will, this, this is supposed to be a tough fight, but it won't be, so, uh, yeah. Now that you and me's got some privacy, I gotta ask, how is it that you're still living? Well, I'd like to know that myself, actually. Getting shot in the head is normally fatal. Uh, call it luck and leave it at that. Luck is for losers, baby. Someone pulled strings. Yeah, it says the guy runs a casino. Once you were vertical, how'd you track me down? Seems you dropped up in Boulder City. To think I deemed that flint box my lucky charm. Luck, you just oh, said luck is for losers, man. Benny. Come on, make up your damn mind. Scratching around at first base. Tell me, which way is the wind gonna blow? I've got questions, a bunch of them. You got questions, I got answers. All right. Uh, what is the scheme of yours, Benny? Again, I'm not going to go through all the dialogues. This main quest, we all know this, so... Broad strokes, change in management. The Securitrons are where it's at. I need a way to control them, and a way to beef up their hitting power. I get those two ducks in a row, Vegas can defend itself versus all comers. NCR, Caesar's Legion, it won't matter. What makes you think you can succeed? Baby, the odds may look long, but that's Again, just because Again, with the luck metaphors, come on, Benny. I won't toss the dice until we are. I've gleaned a lot working with Mr. House. He was a good cat to swing with. I still got a lot to learn, but it's it's coming together. And you're only commit murder to make this happen? Baby, do you not understand the level of game here? What I did to you was rotten. But if you think House, the NCR, or Caesar won't kill to put Vegas in their pocket, I really did blow out your brains. Very nice. Yep, I'm not gonna kill him. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I see your point. We're reasonable. It's Benny's a game, a and games have winners and losers. I prefer the former. How about you? Hmm. Alright, let's talk about something else. How else can I clue you in? Uh, what are you offering? And we'll just cut to the chase. You help me, and before long, the chairman will rule all of Vegas, dig? And I can get behind that, because they're With awesome. enough robot muscle to back it up. You'll get a sweet, robot juicy muscles. cut of that action. But until that day comes, I'll keep you on retainer and pay bonuses for special missions. And I totally won't ha try and have How's you kill sound? immediately following this meeting. Uh, <laughs> I'll say it's a deal. Jackpot, baby. And I knew end. we'd see eye to eye. He's going to betray us again. Here's just can't stay mad at Benny. Just can't Don't stay spend mad it all in one place. And the prez is yours for as long as you want it. When you're ready to saddle up, come find me down on the casino floor and we'll plan the next step of this caper. Ring-a-ding, baby. Ta-ta. All right, so time to get ready for the... Uh... That I could... Oh, what's in here? It's been a long time stepped on this. Win back. Oh, thank God. You love. 
<laughs> I don't think I've heard Willow singing that before. You're making me fun. carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Yeah, I gave Veronica some stuff back, so I, I did a little management off-screen just because it's not anything really worth your guys' time, but we'll give her that. What the hell? Why is she wearing the, the U.S. combat armor? Ooh, Damn, got Veronica. something good for me? <gasps> it's... It should, it should be equal with the brother. Ooh, got something armor, good for me? <gasps> is it a dress? Uh, oh, it does have a bigger bonus. No, it doesn't. What the hell? Alright, let's get ready for these guys coming up here, because they will be up here momentarily. And actually, Veronica should probably be over there. Over here! Well, that might have been a poor hey, idea. I think he's a hand over here. Oh crap, did I knock Willow up? Oh right, I forgot she has a uh, shit armor. Well, she might not have been unconscious there, actually. This is a bit more powerful than I thought it was, definitely. So we have to go to Benny Suite and find Yes Man. Oh, and that reminds me, I should check my Project Nevada soon just to make sure it didn't crap on my health again, because... I do like the game being tougher, but not for this. Uh, settings. A uh, rebalance, right? That's where it is. A uh, character. Damn it. Hmm. Do perk every level just so you can see more of the random custom ones. Uh, I know people were asking for that. Uh, yep. We'll put the level multiplier back so I have HP again. Because, again, call me a sissy, but <laughs> I like having that. Alright. Uh, we'll leave the tougher. Uh, we'll give the NPCs a, a bit of a level multiplier. Like two. Well, we'll see how that goes. Because if they're if people are too weak, I will uh, try to fix that auto aim. an auto aim? Hmm. Didn't realize that. Alright, uh, let's go check out Benny's suite, I guess. I should probably put this grenade launcher away, huh? Yeah, that'd be a good point. Benny's suite is up here, I think. You just take an elevator to it, I know that much. Yeah, he's already flood. Oh yeah, maybe it's back here. He's already flood town. I think the elevators are down by the uh, the little thing they have back here, aces. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Again, it's been a while since I've been in here. But uh, hmm. and you can do the 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 music fest quest out of aces, but I will not be doing that just because. All oh, right, they're back here. I, I knew they were in there. What? <laughs> yeah, I won't be doing that just because. Uh, again. I'm going to kind of roll through the main quest because this has been going on for a while. So I think it's probably time to start wrapping it up. And I think this is Benny's floor. So we just got to go talk to Yes Man. Ominous music. I have to follow one music. I love this music. This is Benny's sweet. Yeah, I think Yes Man's back here, isn't he? Yes, yes he is. Hey, creepy robot dude. Hey! Hi there! Good to He's meet you. He's very enthusiastic. What can I do for you today? What are you doing here? Good question! My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. Yes, man. What kind of a name is that? It's what Benny always called me. Probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. <laughs> Benny stole a platinum chip from me. Do you know what it's for? Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device. Kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, 
Some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses yep, somehow. Pure death robots. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network. The Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Alright, uh... And normally, oh, you can, just, you can just talk to this guy and he'll explain that you can use him to take over Vegas instead. Uh, but since I plan on siding with the NCR, I'm not going to be doing Yes Man. So we'll, we'll just skip that because, you guys, again, you guys probably know who this is. If enough of you watching haven't seen him and you, you want me to go talk to him, just post a comment. Come back later if you need anything. I just don't want to come up there yet. Just post a comment and I will come back here and talk to him. But... Basically, this guy is the way you do the independent Vegas quest. Uh, can we use these computers? They're broken, right? Yeah. Uh, and the in independent Vegas, I'm actually not a huge fan of. Uh, if only because... Uh, I don't know, the, the ending is just really kind of crappy. And I don't have the key for that. Okay. I think this is the key from somewhere. Yeah, in, in my opinion, the ending is really kind of crappy. And just the, like... It just doesn't make any sense because you have the uh, you have like the whole army of robots at your command, but then the ending just implies that the region kind of uh, falls into uh, you know basically just chaos and anarchy outside of Vegas because there's no central authority. But the stupid thing is that you, as the player, have this again literally this just this huge army of lethal robots, which the entire point of the game was you getting this huge army of lethal robots and then you just, you can't do anything with them. So uh, that really annoyed me just because it just felt like it, if you, if you, it, I feel like they kind of just removed the uh, player choice at the end there because if you wanted to have a character who would, would just, you know, knock out the power structure in Vegas and then not really care about the surrounding area, then it would make sense that it would fall, all fall into chaos. But if you wanted to play a character who wanted to kind of knock out all the factions fighting for Vegas and then just kind of secure the area for himself and, and rule it for himself. You you couldn't do that in a, a logical manner just because the game, the ending precluded you from basically continuing to uh, rule the area in a, a sense of You have a huge army of robots with, you know, death rays and missiles and whatnot against, like, what, pow pow powder gangers and, like fiends and you can't control it it just doesn't make any sense and yeah that that was one of my biggest pet peeves with the end and i think i talked about that before so indie vegas is the worst of the endings in my opinion uh i prefer the ncr ones again just because like the brotherhood and that's the best one for them yeah, i didn't forget the eyes right of the mighty now. kaisa are upon you he admires your accomplishments and yes my accomplishments are just saturation nuking his territory his mark. i'm sure he's a huge any fan of that you may have perpetrated against the legion are hereby Forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy a second time. My lord requires your presence at his oh, camp at Fortification there. Hill. His you mark will guarantee your safe conduct to our lands. Incidentally, it will interest you to know that the man you seek has fled the Strip and is likely making haste for Kaisar's camp as we speak. Tell Kaisar I accept his invitation. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The core sword of Kulus will be waiting. So we're just going to go to the fort and kill everybody. And you know, I'm going to upgrade the enemy health because I realize I have so many people in my party that uh, we should do that. And also, I do have to install more wasteland spawns again. I realize I don't have that right now. I want to get that back, so... We'll, we'll put it on... We'll put this on 15. And we'll put this on... Like, we'll put it on 2. Again, I do have quite a few companions with me, so I don't think it's unreasonable to make myself weaker. I should get more stim packs, though. A visit to the Brotherhood's probably in order. I have to redo all my damn hockeys, because I get, uh, uh, whoever just made you your hockeys get knocked out by switching through is just so dumb. Also, incidentally, I just realized there's probably a mod to fix that, so I should really check that out. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't done that already, but oh well. Uh, put that at four. Wait, sorry, four. Three. Three. Uh, the inversal axe. Eight. Two, three, five, six. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, I'll put that at seven. That'll be useful to have. Alright, so we have a few more minutes. I wonder if we can keep 
maybe keep him to 20 minutes because 30 minutes is a bit on the long side, but we'll see. It's probably going to be fluctuating back between those two. So uh, in the last few minutes, I don't want to talk to the NCR yet. So let me just look at the quests because... Uh, Actually, you know, I might as well go do the NCR. Five minutes is enough time. Because I'm, again, I don't plan on doing all the dialogue options. And normally, I would draw out all the dialogue options because I really like doing that. Uh, I love these games just for the, the world and the story and the character above everything else because the gameplay is fairly unremarkable. It's all the other stuff that's really fantastic. But uh, uh, we've, all, we've all done this for the most part. You all know what happens here, so... We'll skip through this. Because this is not too interesting. Hey. And you've all seen it a million times, I'm sure. So this should be... We talk to the military guy first, I think, and then you get to the ambassador later on. And it is important to note that if you proceed too far down any one quest line, uh, the other ones may become inaccessible. Like, I know the first time I played through this, when I went too far down Independent Vegas, I could no longer find the ambassador. He had just despawned. So uh, that was a problem. Welcome to the NCR Embassy. How can I help you? I'm looking for the ambassador. Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. I have to go now. Sir? Sir? What? Oh, I remember that. You, you do the ambassador first, and then uh, he sends you to the general. That That's what it is. Okay. So it's just the NCR headquarters. You know, pretty, pretty podunk. Not much going on here. The ambassador's got a big office somewhere, which I probably went the wrong way. Oh, she meant her right, actually, maybe. Ah, oh, sperm button. If Veronica gets a dress, I want one, too. <laughs> or maybe new shoes, or a new hat. I don't know. Something pretty. Please? Willow really is a great like companion, Mod. I definitely recommend all of you check it out. Take my leave the strip. I'm glad you could make it. I have something I wanted to discuss. This guy's really creepy, the way he types, the way he it's talks. It's a very important matter, and I have a strong feeling you're out. the perfect person for the job. I'm listening. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with so all the weird. issues like, between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. In the air. It doesn't take Creepy. a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if so we fail now, talk about it's grimy the people suits. here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. You have my attention? Go on. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a uh, munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. Hey, you I would like you to get in contact every time. and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. Yay. That's why I need someone like you. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? I know where they are. I'll go and talk to them. Excellent. Come back and I think I already did... I might have done... They should see the benefits of helping us in the long term. I don't know if I already did all the boom requests, or at least some of them, but... I have to go now? Goodbye. I think I did... I know I did at least a few, I think. Right, because I was... Or maybe I didn't. I was over there... Actually, I might have just uncovered the fast travel points. I know it was over there for the, uh... The Brotherhood thing, but yeah, I probably haven't done anything there yet. Yeah, okay, so we'll have to do the boomer stuff, but uh, what was I gonna say? Crap, I something important to mention, but I cannot remember that now. Oh, yeah, uh, I do feel that, um, the unfortunately with uh, Lonesome Road. The whole idea of being forgiven for any crimes against those factions has become kind of ridiculous, just because of how badly you can screw over the factions in uh, in Lonesome Road. Like before that, I didn't really have a problem with it, as simply because you know, it made a lot of sense that uh, they would want you badly enough in order to just forgive whatever past transgressions you may have committed. I really need to figure out what my fences are doing that. It's kind of weird. But the fact that you can literally nuke them and get away, I mean, I guess you, they can say that, like, you know, well, they, they don't know that you did that. And that is fair, but at the same time, you get negative reputation for doing it to them, so the game seems to imply that they do know it's you. And it's just, it just doesn't make any sense that they would forgive you for literally nuking their territory. That just does not follow for me, because Legion is not exactly the most forgiving people, you as place, huh? most of you guys have probably noticed, and it just seems kind of ridiculous. That they would basically just, you know, lie down and, uh, 
let that happen because I don't think you're that valuable to them. You know, that's something they don't really seem like they'd be inclined to let go. But uh, on equal equally for the NCR, I mean, but uh, especially since they're for a lot more unpopular opinion. But yeah, that just doesn't make sense to them anymore because it's just lonesome road messes with that up a bit. And I do have to go to that uh, Legion, the really high-level area that you get access to from Lone Sermon. I, have to, I forgot I have to come to commit myself the long, or the lone 15 power arm or whatever, Sierra power arm or whatever the hell it's called, that the, you get to nuke in the NCR. Because, you know, obviously I'm not going to nuke the NCR. But, uh, so you can do that. And yes, I do plan on doing the Courier's Mile. Probably after I finish this Let's Play, uh, I will just run the Courier's Mile and do that in a separate video. With, like, you know, full group, all that good stuff. So yeah, here we are at uh, Nellis Hangers. I think I'll probably end the video here for today. Uh, the plan is just to continue with the Boomers, doing the uh, the Boomers quest, and mainly continue with the NCR main quest, although if there's any side quests that uh, catch my attention, or maybe some modded side quests that I want to do, I will be sure to uh, kind of follow down those, because uh, I do want to start finishing this up, but there's no real rush to do it. So if you would like me to do a bit more, a few more side quests, and, you know, some more uh, additional added... Uh, a modded content or something, just let me know. Uh, and I will be sure to do that. I also need to look into doing uh, Requiem for the Capital Waste and getting that working because I've been, I've been, I want to hold off on that until at least uh, this is done because I don't want to risk damage in any of my saves. But after that's done, I will try and get that working so we maybe can even look forward to a playthrough on that. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching. This is the Tunator, and I'll see you guys later.